I am so excited to be doing this video. This is my video with Angelica's newest collab with Odin's Eye, Hella Part 2. This is the Hella Ween collection. We have five lip products, we have two palettes. It is a spooky extravaganza, and I am so, so incredibly excited. Angie, congratulations on another collab with Odin's Eye. The first one was so incredible. We all love the Hella palette, and I am so excited to see more upon this theme, especially in the spooky realm. This just makes me so happy. So huge congratulations to Angie. At the moment that I'm filming this, I'm pre-filming it a little bit. So it hasn't even been like revealed yet because um, I have a trip coming up. I will have all of the launch details down below in my description box. And you won't be able to use any affiliate codes on collabs, but you can use my code BattyBean on anything else on the site if you feel like picking anything up. Also at the moment that I'm filming this, the Perfect World collection between myself, Lauren May Beauty, and Makeup Just for Fun is still available. So if you're someone who likes to pick up multiple things at once, now might be a good time to snag multiple things. But in this video, we are going to be doing uh, swatches, close-ups of everything. I'll be creating two looks, one look with each palette, and I'm so excited. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, chat about all the products that are in this collection, and then we'll get into the looks. First of all, <laughs> look at these little cuties. I can't take it. We have this little like pinky spooky bat. And then I'm assuming this is the little ghost because one of the palettes is the little ghost palette. It is so stinking cute. I just, I love these. My cats definitely thought these were cat toys though. They're adorable. We have five new lip products from the brand. We have two matte liquid lipsticks. We have two shine glosses and one glow gloss. The two shine glosses are spectral and quicksand. The glow gloss is radioactive. And the two matte lipsticks are shadow creature and swamp fog. We just have kind of a mixture of reds, burnt oranges, brownie tones. I really like the radioactive glow gloss. I think the most, I just, I love a sheer gloss. You know me. It's just so nice. These all smells so lovely. It's like a very sweet but fruity but also kind of mild scent. It's really, really nice. And the matte liquid lipsticks are really nice. I'm wearing one of them right now with a gloss over top. I think I'm wearing Swamp Fog. Um, these are really nice. They kind of remind me of the Kaleidos Lip Clays but a little moussier. They're really comfy. Um, they dry down like immediately. Like they're just like a very matte texture to start with but not drying. They're very comfortable. And the gloss is very like slippy, glidey. I'm really into them so far. So really excited for some new products from the brand. And then of course, what we're probably all here for, the two palettes. I am so excited. The artwork on these is just so pretty. We have the Trick or Treat palette and Little Ghost palette. Like I said in this video, I'll be doing one look with each palette, but I do plan on doing additional looks on like Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, doing more looks with these two. I think that'll be so fun. So first we have the Trick or Treat palette. This is gonna be more of our classic orange, green, pumpkin-y, Halloween-y situation. We have really gorgeous shimmers in here, lots of fun poppy mattes, a good mixture of bright and grungy. This is so cute. And then we also have the little ghost palette. This one is gonna be more of our mystical, magical, bluey, purple vibes. I like the pops of warmth with the pops of yellow and like peachy tones. I think these are both so pretty. I think these would pair really well with the original Hella. They have the same 16 pan format. I may or may not do a palette bingo with all three at some point, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about these. Angie, again, just huge congratulations to you. I'm so excited. And like I mentioned before, I'll have all the launch details down in my description box. And yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, do the two looks, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the collection so far at the end. Hello, let's uh, get into look number one. Um, I guess before we get in though, my accessories, these are just earrings that I got as a gift quite a long time ago and I don't know where they're from. So sorry about that, <laughs> but let's uh, hop in and play with our first palette. I'm gonna use the trick or treat palette for look number one today. I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm so excited to be filming this video and playing with these palettes. You know me in spooky makeup. I'm all about the Halloween themed makeup. It makes me so happy. And I just love seeing other people's like concepts for a spooky palette. I just think it's so fun. I'm also very excited because at the moment that I'm filming this, um, it's a couple days away, but I'm doing a big Disney trip with some other YouTube creators and Angie is part of that trip. So I'm really excited to meet her in a couple days. That trip will have already happened by the time this video goes up and my vlog and everything will already be up as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm just so excited to like meet her and it's gonna be such a fun trip. All right, so with this palette, I'm just so enamored by the greens. I think those greens are so pretty. I did use this shade as well. Um, 
Mummy's Curse as my highlight today, and I'll probably use that as my inner corner, but I'm just so enamored by these greens. I can't take it, so we're doing a green look today. I just have to. I figured I'd also use some of my Singe Beauty brushes that are created by Angie um, in this look as well. So I wanna start with this bright, bright green poison. It's just so pretty, so bright. I'm gonna use this Singe Beauty Easier 3. I'm just grabbing a tiny bit for now. I'm gonna tap that off because I grabbed a lot of pigment. And I'm just gonna start very lightly, like the tiniest little bit of pressure, light little taps in the outer corner. I am doing a halo eye today as well, so I wanna leave the middle as blank as possible. And I'm just kinda doing light little tippy taps just to get a little bit of the shade laid down before I build it up and add the dark and all the things. You get just as excited about Halloween makeup as me? I would love to know. It just makes my whole day. Oh, this slimy green, it's so cute. So now I'm just kind of building it up slowly and then I'll wipe my brush off periodically to kind of focus on blending the edges, make it really, really soft and seamless. Do the same on that lower lash line. I do plan on putting shimmer on that lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing and kind of just focus it on the inner and outer and just make sure it kind of connects just like that. And it's just such a pretty green, it's so bright and slimy and just so cute. All right, next up, taking Cauldron, that beautiful dark murky green. I'm gonna use the Singe Beauty E02, just like a little bit of a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to just kind of do the same thing going on the inner and outer part of my lid and lower lash line, but I am focusing this more like on the lid itself and I'm just gonna let it kind of blend into the bright green. I just want this to be a little bit of depth before I start going in with all the pretty shimmers because I'm gonna load my lids up with those shimmers. I'm so excited for it. So for now, just doing light little sweeps. I'm using very little pressure and just kind of swirling it outwards towards that bright green. I'll do the same thing with the inner part. Just kind of getting this laid down before I go back in with more of the bright green to blend it out more. I'm really liking these greens together. I think that's really, really pretty. Ooh, it's such a good murky shade. I'll do the same on that lower lash line, just focusing it on the inner and outer as much as possible. Now, just going a little back in with Poison on that bigger brush from before. Just again, very light pressure, little tiny soft motions. Just working on getting a really good merge between the dark green and the bright green. And I'm just gonna kind of keep going at it until I'm happy with the blend, which I'm already pretty happy with it. And then we will start going in with some shimmer. I'm so excited. Mm, I love this so much. It's so like witchy green, it's so pretty. Um, let's go in with some glitter primer first. This is the Shimmer Stay from Bella Beauty Bar. I'm just going to kind of just tippy tap that right in the center of my lids. And I'm gonna use this singe brush, the E04, just to kind of tap that out focused on the center, but kind of fading out toward the inner and outer corner as well. So I'm gonna be using Crypt Keeper first on the inner and outer corner, and then Witch's Brew right here on the center. So just going in with that same brush. Ooh, it's so pretty. Taking Crypt Keeper. This is honestly the shade I was most excited to use. When I swatched it, I was enamored. It's so pretty. That is such a good green. Honestly, I feel like that'd be a really good green for Christmas time also. Like it's just so rich. It's a really good shade. It's just so foresty and delicious. I love. So just kind of tucking that in the inner and outer. Kind of like that, just leaving that middle very open for my next shade. Really quick, I'm just gonna go in with the brush that I used with the darkest green. I'm actually gonna wipe it off completely just to lightly smudge at the edges, just to make sure it blends really nicely from matte to shimmer in those corners. And then flipping the brush over to Witch's Brew, just grabbing some of that, and I'm just going to plop that right in the center of my lid. I'm just gonna go to town right there in the middle. Oh, that is so pretty. Look how glowy that is. Man, it made that green look so dimensional. It's so pretty. So I'm just kind of lightly going back and forth between both sides of the brush, just making sure I have a really good merge. 
I'll go in with my big fluffy brush from before, like the first brush I used, just to lightly dust around those edges. I just love these greens. I think they're so pretty. So I'm gonna kind of mimic the same thing on that lower lash line. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just wiping it off completely. And I'm gonna grab Crypt Keeper on like the tip of the brush. And I'm just gonna like kind of stamp that in the inner and outer part of my like lower lash line portion. And then I'll wipe it off again and then grab Witch's Brew also on the tip of that brush. And just again, like really stamp it in between those two darker ones just to get like that, that same kind of vibe on that lower lash line. And I personally love lower lash line shimmer. I just think it's so pretty and twinkly and eye catching. And then I'll just kind of dust my bigger fluffy brush around the edge of that just to get it nice and smooth and blendy. All right, and then taking the Mummy's Curse shade, yeah. I'm going to use my Singe Beauty E01. And I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with this to start. Just plopping it in there. I thought that would be really pretty. I almost went with the minty shade, but I kind of wanted this gold because I'm using the goldish gloss for this look as well. So I figured that would complement it really nicely. I'll even pop some on my brow bone just for a little extra gleam. You know, I kind of want to grab just a tiny bit of this as well. And maybe we can just like dibble dabble that right in the center of my lid just for an extra little, extra little pop. It just adds a little something, you know? Nothing major, but I feel like it just added that little extra accent that it needed. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just gonna finish up my look now, throw on an eye pencil, my lashes, um, the gloss, probably a uh, lip pencil to go with it as well, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here is the final look. I love this. I just love these rich greens. I love how vibrant, I love how it looks like everything's just glowing. It is so fun. Um, these lashes are the flare half lashes from Bright Lashes. The eye pencil is this one from Odin's Eye. I don't know the name off the top of my head because there's no label, but it's number five. I'll have everything linked in my description box that I used today and in look number two. And then on my lips, I started with the Cursed Lip Liner from Unearthly. I just kind of lined and filled in a little bit. And then I topped it with Angie's Glow Gloss in the shade Radioactive. I think that's really pretty. It has a little bit of a gold sheen to it, but it's really comfy, very like slippy, glidey, it's very comfy. So yeah, this is look number one. I hope you enjoy it. Let's move on to look number two. All right, look number two with the little ghost palettes. So cute. We have like bluey purple vibes. I like that poppy yellow a lot. I definitely plan to use that in my inner corner. Um, it's the law, I have no choice. Um, but yeah, my accessory details for today. Um, these earrings are Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy, and I don't know where this choker's from, it's old. And also, I use the shade Boo as my face highlight, actually, and I think it's quite cute. I like the, the twinkle sparkle madness that's going on. So, I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer as per usual. It's also like rumbling and grumbling outside, so if you hear thunder at any point, it, it is thunder. <laughs> It is thundering. All right, so I want to do kind of a blue-purple cut crease situation with probably the shade I use as my face highlight all over the lid. I'm just really um, into it, and I really want a smoky lower lash line of purple, and then I really want that pop of yellow in the inner corner. So let's just start with the cut creasey stuff. I'm going to be using Haunted House on the inner and then this really dark plummy purple um, licorice on the the outer part. I have two Game Beauty E07s for this. They're very skinny and long and really good for cut creasy stuff. So I'm grabbing that blue first. And I'm just gonna start tucking that right in the depths of my crease, going in the front half with it. Just kind of doing little wiggly motions, just like a little windshield wiper. I'm just gonna kind of do this for a little bit until I feel like it's laid down enough. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Now taking licorice on that other brush, doing the same thing, just tucking it right in the depths of my crease. If some gets on my lid, it's fine because I'll be using shadow to like cover it up anyways, like shimmer all over the lid. But I'm just kind of taking this and I want this shade to kind of flick outward toward my brow just to give a, a nice little swoopage. It's actually not so bad for just like two shadows so far with no blending or cut creases. 
Not too bad. These brushes are just like magic for doing cut stuff. All right, so now we start the blending process. For the blue part, we're gonna be using um, Haunted. So we're gonna start there. I'm gonna use the Singe Beauty Brush, the E05. It's just a little bit bigger than that one I just used. It's slightly more dense. Um, but it's still really small, which is good because I want to still be precise in this area. I'm not dragging this out super far because I'm still going to use the baby blue to help blend this out more. I just want to get it going, get it kind of softened. And again, I'm not worried about the lid itself at all. I'm just blending upward because I'll be cutting the lid out anyways. So just doing this for now. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. And then I'm going to go in with a uh, ghoulish this little baby blue shade right there. It's really cute, I like the, the spider embossing. And then this is a Singe Beauty E03. It's a bigger fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use that to just kind of go to town on that area, just really soften it and blend it out even more. And then for the purple, we're gonna take Little Ghost, that purple shade. Um, and I'm gonna use the Singe Beauty E02. I'm just gonna grab just a tiny bit of it because this looks like it'll be very pigmented. Um, and I'm just gonna very, very lightly like I'm using barely any pressure. Just gonna lightly start scooting this on that edge of that purple, just to start blending that out a little bit more. And I wanna make sure it flows in with the blues really nicely. So I'm just gonna use little motions and just kinda do light little sweeps and scoots, getting that blurred before we officially cut the crease and go in with our shimmers. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at right now. It is getting so dark outside. It's literally like nine in the morning and it is dark. Like it looks like it's 8 p.m. Um, but I'm gonna use my Bella Beauty Bar Shimmer Stay. And I'm gonna be using this little Unearthly Cosmetics brush, the 8-8 brush. I'm just gonna grab some of that glitter primer and I'm gonna kind of trace out where I want my cut to be. So just kind of following that line, kind of creating that little swoopy shape, if you will. <laughs> I'm just kind of going like that, just to get that carved out. So then, like I said before, I really want to use Boo all over the lid. I think that'll be really pretty. And the shifts and the sparkle and stuff, I think will go really well just with that blue and purple. So I'm just using that same brush, picking up some of that color and I'm just gonna start loading it up on my lid. Just give a nice glossy highlighted look with the crease work kind of being the star of the show here. I might even do a little accent of a, like a white graphic liner or something going at the cut crease, but we'll see when I'm done. Sometimes I change my mind on that. Just kind of here for the journey at this point. I'm having a lot of fun with this though. This is really pretty. I like these colors a lot. I'm really excited to like play with these palettes some more. Um, when I get back from my trip, I'll definitely be doing, I probably mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I'll be doing like individual like Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, like that kind of thing with these. And maybe at some point I'll do like a, like a Hella palette bingo where I use like the original Hella palette and both of these. I think that could be really fun too. Look how pretty that is. I feel like that complements the blue and the purple so well. I think that looks so enchanting and I just love the way it just merges it with that like face highlight because I use the same thing for my face. I think that's quite nice. I'm excited to smoke out that lower lash line. So I'm gonna catch the other eye up to speed. Okay, I kind of blacked out and did do the graphic liner. I went with the yellow though, just cause I knew I was doing a yellow inner corner. Um, this is Mucho Mucho by Urban Decay. I think it's really cute. I might perfect it a little bit more like once I'm finally done, but I wanted to just kind of map it out. I think that added a little something. It gave a little bit more separation, but still like merged them together. And I think it's gonna complement that inner corner so well. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna do kind of the licorice and little ghost combo again just get it like smoked out right up against my lashes so i'm gonna take licorice first on this little elf brush just to push right up against i don't really want my lower lash line like extending outward like going that way i really want it just focused here just to give a little bit of smokiness and dimension i am going to add a purple shimmer down here as well because i'm a monster and can't be stopped with the lower lash line shimmer so yeah, just kind of mapping that out to start with. And then I'm gonna take this little unearthly brush, the 8-6. I don't even have any product on this. I'm just gonna kind of start smudging out like what it is just to get it a little bit softer before I go in with other, the other purple to get it more blended. I'm grabbing a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit of Little Ghost on that Singe E02 that I used with that shade earlier. 
just to very lightly start blending at the very edge of that purple just to get it nice and soft oh adding that purple down there i feel like is really bringing this all together it's so pretty i'm actually going to wipe off the brush i used with the baby blue the easy 03 and i'm going to grab skeleton this like pale 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 lavender just to just to you know blend this out a little bit more add even more of a blurred effect because i just think that would be a really good idea anything just to tie that together more before i go in with my shimmer all right so now going in with ominous that beautiful shimmer purple it's so pretty i'm going to use that little unearthly pencil brush from before just grabbing a little bit of that and i'm just going to press this right up against my lower lash line i'm focusing it in the front mostly kind of that front third and then as i have less on the brush i'll kind of like scoot it out towards the middle just for a little bit of twinkle and extra dimension i'm really liking this um so let's go to the part i'm most excited for uh banana taffy that bright bright yellow i'm gonna use my singe beauty e01 just gonna dive in and i do have to be careful because like yellow and purple are opposite on the color wheel if i blend too much in this inner like lower portion it could get really muddy so i'm just gonna focus on just really stamping and not like blending into that purple that is such a pretty yellow holy cow that is so good oh and it just ties together so nice with that yellow graphic liner oh i'm obsessed that is so cute. I was gonna leave it matte, but I am just tempted to put a little bit of cobweb right over top, just because I wanna use every shade. <laughs> I'm just so curious how that's gonna look. Oh, I think that's nice. I just added a little bit of sheen. It didn't really change that much because I didn't add a lot. I just kind of like lightly tapped it over, but I think that's nice. I'm gonna wipe that brush off so there's no more yellow on it. I'll actually take a little bit of cobweb and pop that on my brow bone as well all right so this is the look i'm just gonna finish this up through all my lashes eye pencil one of the lips uh, i need to do my hair still and i'll be back when i'm complete all right here is the completed look i love this it's gonna be so hard for me to decide what i like more between this look and the first look I think it's so enchanting and mystical. I love the blue purple yellow combo. I think it's so cool. These lashes are still flare from Bright Lashes. My eye pencil is Visuals from ColourPop, just playing with that purple lower lash line. And my lip combo is the Swamp Fog Matte Lipstick with the Shine Quicksand Gloss over top. So this is the look. I hope you like it. Let's zoom out and I'll give you my thoughts so far on the collection. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. I would love to hear your thoughts. What are you thinking of the collection what did you think of my looks which look was your favorite i i honestly can't pick i feel so pretty in both of them i loved how like deliciously decadent that green look was from look number one but i'm just loving the vibes of this look i think both were so cool these lip products are really fun so far i feel like they're a little more like normal like you could wear these kind of on a regular basis like they don't scream like Halloween, like we don't have like a bright orange or a black or anything like that, but they're shades that I feel like still complement these palettes really nicely and ones that you could probably feel comfortable wearing pretty much anytime, as long as they're like your vibe, obviously. And then we have the two palettes. I'm so excited about these so far. I'm just so happy to see this come to fruition. When I found out this was happening, I got so excited. So happy to have these in my hands, playing with them. It is just such a good time. The Trick or Treat palette was so fun to use. We used a good little chunk of the palette. We used like the four greens, that goldy shade. There's a lot to do with this palette. There's definitely more I want to play with. Um, I really like this minty shade. I think that's really, really pretty. Um, there's just so much, but that Crypt Keeper dark green, such a mouth-watering shade. And the little ghost, the little ghost is so cute. We used quite a few of these shades, three of the mattes, six of the mattes, and then three of the shimmers. We used a lot of shades. I just could not not use a million shades from this palette. Um, both are super pretty. I think I'm leaning towards this one the most as far as like which one I like more just because this one is so fun and so punchy. But man, that shimmer green in the Trick or Treat palette, there's just so many cool things in this collection. These palettes are the star of the show for sure. I think this is such a cool sequel to the original Hello palette, and I'm just excited to see what everyone does with these. Again, I can't say it enough. Huge congrats to Angie, and I just would love to hear all of your thoughts. Do you plan on picking this collection up? Do you own the original Hello palette? I would love to know down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some Halloween-related emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you haven't already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything, 
Instagram, TikTok, you know the drill. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. Also, feel free to join my channel memberships. So the link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.